So, hello everyone. Uh, I have a silly cable charging my head torch from a, um, a power you look bank. like a crazy mad scientist. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, uh, welcome back to another video. And oh, it in this me in the face. Welcome back to another video, and in this video, we are going to be making a bulkhead, which is on the floor currently. Just about make it out. Very dark down there. Uh, we were working earlier doing some things which I haven't filmed really. Doing the bed and the bench seat for the diesel heater, which I'll give you a uh, diesel tank, sorry, which I'll give you a little um, sneak preview of or show of how I built it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so before I forget to film all of this as well, uh, I'm going to film what we've done with the bulkhead. So yeah, we just measured it out so far, cut the battens, and now they're on the floor ready to screw together. And I cut my first button. Yes, using the chop saw, my new chop saw. Ooh, very nice. So, here we go. Um, basically, <laughs> this is the driver's side, so we're looking at it from the back. And uh, what I did is, I got six foot battens, so they literally go up almost to the ceiling, but not quite, because I haven't done the ceiling yet, so I'm not going to bother with that. I may like add a little bit on and make it all square and a nice little cabinet. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the overhead, whether I'm going to make it a door, a little curtain, just open. Not really sure. So we're just building the bit below with two bits sticking up with the six foot battens. These are slightly cut down, this one and this one for the door frame. The door frame is 450 because I will be putting a single seat in like I've previously mentioned. But yeah, so the insulation I got is 37 centimeters wide and evenly spaced out. These work out at 37.5 centimeters. So with wool, you can stretch it. So no problem there. So we got one, two, three, four, and we'll do the same on the other side. Uh, and then it'll be done. But what I'm using is drill, impact driver. So I drill in each of them, impact drive, blah, da, 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 and then done, and then we'll give it a test fit. So I'll put you on a little time lapse, and yeah, let's go. So, hello everyone. Um, I am back uh, in the same place, just as dark, because I've been doing the skylight today, which is probably the next video, I think. Um, but yeah, so. I'm back on the patio area and I've just cut some OSB. I've did the technique where you put the sheet up against the curved wall and you get a bit of batten and you drill a hole in it, put the pencil through and then draw the line up and then you get a line, cut it with a jigsaw and then you get your nice curved wall. So here, as you can see, there's my two bits of OSB. Um, this is my curved piece. It doesn't look very curved because like I say, citronellos are very boxy. They just kind of curve towards the top. And then there's the flat bit. Nope, sorry, that's the wrong way around. As you can see, there's a massive curve there. So the bottom one's the curvy one, needs to go against the wall. And then the other one's gonna go here. I'm just gonna screw them to the frame now, then measure and cut this one here. Um, and then that should be the bulkhead OSB side um, done. Oh, and before I actually screw the OSB to it, I need to do the vapor barrier. And my camera's dying, so I need to plug it in as well. Uh, so first of all, Tape the vapor barrier to this, screw the OSB down, and then screw it into place. I'm going to use L brackets just in case I need to take the seats out. So guys, as you can see, right there, it's all vapor barrier, a little patch because I had a little bit left over which meant to cut a little bit out. Um, yep, yeah, and there as well. So now I've just got to screw down the OSB, cut a little bit for there because I'm working with little offcuts from someone, but they're all free, so that's why I'm using USB. Uh, but yeah, so it shouldn't be too hard. Should just be able to screw that down, and then I'll be able to put it in, and then I'll be able to do the little angle thing to the sliding door pillar on this side because it's behind the passenger seat, so it's a little bit angled and blends nicely into the sliding door pillar. So screw that in. So hello everyone. Sorry if the camera starts fogging up because the camera was outside. I had something to eat. And now as you can see I've got the wall behind me, I vapor barrier it as you saw and I screwed the OSB to the other side and now that's just in there for now. So what I'm going to do, like I said I want it to be removable, so I'm using what we had because I've only really just decided that, sorry dropped my torch, because uh, we've only just decided that I want it to be removable just in case of seats and stuff. Sorry guys, mind the music, don't want to get copyrighted but look at that. That's before and then that's after. You can really see that lovely knot. So yeah, lovely. And it's also oil based and it's really thick and seals it completely. So if any diesel goes, it will be absolutely fine wipeable. So yeah, it's great. So hello everyone. I haven't done any filming today because it's been pretty boring. But um, back to the bulkhead. 
uh, as you can see here, I've put a piece of ply, but what I did was um, cut a load of these weird shapes. It's got a 22.5 degree angle, and at whatever angle that is, steeper than I could get the chop saw. Uh, but yeah, it worked, and all along there, and then I'm putting some ply here, so then the tongue and groove can nail into here with the nail gun, uh, and then all the tongue and groove will come here as well with the nail gun. I just got to fill in that last section with ply and then this little corner here is going to be OSB as well it'll probably be an angled bit there and then a little flat bit there so two two bits uh, and then that side staying is cladding um, but I may like carpet the cladding from this side uh, whether that will look good or not I don't know but yeah, there's quite a gap above there but uh, yeah the cab's looking nice once I get a single seat then you'll be able to so I've also been doing this uh, bit of ply here that goes there and that is here and when I make it dark enough there you go I varnished it with this uh, durable oil based varnish which I varnish a few things in but it gives a glossy finish but it's like really really nice it's really popped that knot there all the saturation and vibrance has just come out of it really love it even did that little bit up there so it covers the baton you can't see it um, so yeah that's looking good and then I also I've been busy today, just like little bits, like I said. I did a little box for the diesel heater. It's got a vent on the back, don't worry. And two boxes, all screwed in. Oh, you can't see that one, there. And then the conduit comes out and goes that way. I worked out, if you center the fridge, it literally butts right up against there. So it'll be fine, it's gonna go there. So how I've screwed this in, as I said before, is I've put some brackets down there, so you, got, uh, so you can take it out. There is one screw, up there as you can see there but that's all okay i got the water butts in temporarily but that's the next video or some other video in the future i just need to screw a few more brackets up up this cladding to keep it all sturdy and then i'll be doing the insulation and then in a couple of days time i'll be doing the cladding when my friend comes over with the nail gun again so i'm just going to put this cut a little bit more ply for up there because it wasn't long enough uh, and this will eventually be cladded too and that looks very nice so to the six mil ply. So, hello everyone, excuse the noise from the person in the background doing the, um, my friend doing the cladding with the nail gun again. Uh, we've insulated it with the recycled plastic insulation, which there's still loads in the cab, uh, which, some of which I'm gonna use to insulate above the bulkhead, above the cab. Um, but yeah, all this is insulated, now vapor barrier as well. And then the cladding's going on. Little door here, gonna eventually be made a door. I've got this little angled bit as I showed you yesterday, finished that bit of ply up there. So yeah, all is going well. It was very simple. We cut we when we put the battens in, we made them to the exact width of the insulation. So it was we all, all we had to do was cut the length of the insulation, not the width. And then I did what I did with the floor and the walls, because it's hundred mil insulation, I tore it in half. Um, which wasn't too bad because there was only four bits to do which made the eight bits that I created uh, and then I've still got a load left over which I'm not going to tear it for the top uh, to give some nice insulation up there So hello everyone, as you can see, got the bulkhead pretty much finished. Um, if I turn you around, you can see that a bit of trim to go down there. Uh, we've, we've temporarily done this, uh, it's, that's going to be probably one of the next videos. Um, and then here is the doorway, which I'm going to put some like, you can get some like pine trim stuff that you can put in, in these kind of areas which means then up there you cover all the screw holes and the joins of the different types of wood and then put a little door frame round and build a door in and I think that'll look very very nice and then if you look over here and it's lovely and sunny it wasn't this morning it tipped it down and then from about nine o'clock onwards it's been quite nice but if I show you here I still can't show you there you go 
with a nice join here, curved all the way around there, down, down into the, uh, down that trim bit there. So, yeah, that was a bit tricky, but that's all insulated, even that diagonal bit and all of that. And then there's a bit of OSB there as well. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there. And then we're gonna put some, tuck some insulation down there and then board that over across the top there which will then create like the shelf that goes back and then I think I'll have two pallet wood doors on the top because that's what I'm going to do now on the kitchen and there like where it's on the pine um, there'll be like there'll be two doors that'll open one and they'll open two um, and then you'll be able to access uh, the stuff inside there or maybe I'll do one long skinny one that lifts up I'm not sure yet uh, depending on what one works best uh, but yeah, so I'm going to insulate above there because I've got a load of insulation left from the plastic insulation that I put in here. So that's lots of insulation to go up there. Got a bit to do in the sliding door around the window, but I need to buy the window for that. Kind of run out of money, so I'm going to be stuck at this stage because I need some more batten. I may be able to buy uh, one more packet of batten and finish the kitchen framing. So I know towards the end of this video, guys, it got a bit <laughs> lost uh, because I've been doing so many things at once. I've just been bashing, bashing it out. <laughs> Uh, today, although it's a nice day, I'm probably just going to, I've done a lot of hoovering, I've hoovered every single square of the van you could possibly get to, and it's just going to be tidying up, chilling out, editing the videos, getting on top of things again, and then the videos from, well, I didn't really film this kitchen, uh, but from this part of the kitchen onwards shall be filmed properly, because they're just going to take it time now, now because I've run out of money and stuff, so it's just spread out, take your time. Um, and yeah, but I, I can I bought I've ordered the sink. I got the water butts. I can plumb all that in. Um, yeah, I can I can do a few things, but I just can't I can't do like masses of things. So I'm just gonna do those few things slowly and do them well and record them well. Uh, so that that's my aim at least. Um, but yeah, so that's the bulkhead done. Apart from the door, I'll do a door in a, in a separate video. Uh, just trying to spread these videos. I'm not trying to spread them out, but it seems like I am. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.